Why cap feeding? Why is cap feeding becoming such a popular topic? Cap feeding is actually the most beneficial way for us to be offering liquids to our babies. It's something that they should be starting from six months. Why is it important? It's because it prevents tooth decay, it helps develop the swallow, and it really helps with our mouth development. When we're looking at cup feeding, it is going to be completely parent-led in the initial stages. And we would be starting off with the tiny cup. What's nice about the tiny cup is that it's perfectly proportioned for our babies to also be able to learn how to hold on to it. When you would start with a tiny cup is actually way before you would be wanting them to be drinking from it. Start offering the tiny cup from around the age of four months of age. Let your babies bite and gnaw on it. It's really good for teething and helps them become familiar with this object. So when we're breastfeeding or if we're bottle feeding, what happens is, is that the nipple goes right to the back of the throat and so the fluid is allowed to be swallowed easily. With cup feeding, we actually allow that fluid to be entering the mouth at the beginning and babies have to learn how to get that liquid back but this is all part of their development. When we look at the tiny cup, it's going to be made from food grade silicone. Babies are still very sensory, and so they can do very jarring movements. With the tiny cup made from silicone, it's nice and soft, and so if our baby happens to do a jarring movement and move it into their mouths, they're not going to be hurting themselves. It also allows for warm, cold, and room temperature liquids to be going inside. The way that you would be starting off with offering the tiny cup is just put a very small amount of liquid in, either of your breast milk or a formula, so that your baby is also familiar with that taste. The actual cup has got an arch in the bottom, and so it will help support the way that the fluid is flowing into your baby's mouth, and so decrease that risk of choking. What's nice about it also is that it's weighted, so it becomes quite difficult for it to be topple over. Cup drinking takes time and patience. Initially, it's going to be parent-led, so you will be bringing the cup up to your baby's mouth and then helping to support them by putting it into their mouths and pouring it in very, very slowly. As they start to get older and they become more developed, you'll find that your baby will want to start grabbing it with both hands and be bringing it up to their mouths themselves. An ultimate goal is for a baby to be able to hold the cup single-handedly, but this is generally only going to happen at around the age of 18 months. One of the common issues with cup feeding is that parents complain that their baby's tongue becomes stuck at the bottom. But with the Easy Peasy Tiny Cup, because it's so soft, we can maneuver it in a way that will help encourage that tongue to go back inside the cup. So you can see over here, as baby's drinking, their tongue is underneath. All that I need to do as the parent is... So all I need to do is to squeeze the cup a little bit and that allows the tongue to move up into the cup and so teaches our babies proper mouth development. With the Easy Peasy Tiny Cup, it's going to be helping prevent tooth decay. The American Dental Association recommends that babies are off bottles by the age of one. And this is really going to help encourage our babies to be moving away from bottles. Why it's important with cup feeding is that the milk doesn't stay in the mouth for long periods. The milk is coming in and the baby's moving that milk down to the back of their mouths and then they're able to swallow it. it. Really helps coordinate the whole swallowing movement. The Easy Peasy Tiny Cup is small enough that it's easy for our babies to be holding, but the quantity of milk that can go in here is going to be 60 mils. Generally, what we would be starting off with is only filling it halfway so that it reaches up to around 30 mils. This way we also avoid doing overspilling. If we fill up the cup too much, it's very easy for that fluid to flow out. But when we fill it up halfway, we actually have to angle it a little bit more to be getting it out, which is really again going to be protecting our baby's airways. In terms of what fluids that you would be putting into your tiny cup, look at using thicker fluids at first. It's going to be easier for your baby to be managing. So using your breast milk or your formula, but then also look at smoothies. So you could be making a really simple strawberry and banana smoothie, for example, or even looking at some thinner purees, like a butternut soup puree, for example. These are going to help your babies learn what they need to be doing. And because there's now a thicker substance within their mouths, that proprioception or that ability to know where that fluid is within their mouth is going to be easier. And so they're going to be able to move it further back in their mouths to swallow a lot more comfortably. And so again, avoiding that risk of choking.